Next we're going to have a poem read by Rod Paulus. Rod is a member of 470 and he's our, uh, he's our poem guy. He, he has a knack for writing poems and he wants to share one with you. Thank you very much for having me out here again, Dick. And um, I want to start by giving you a little bit of information about the poem I wrote today. It, um, it's in respect for the Gold Star Mother. Um, many of you out here, unfortunately, are probably Gold Star Mothers. And most of you know what a Gold Star Mother is. Uh, just to reiterate, the Gold Star Mother is the mother of a, of a child, a daughter or son that was... Um, that was deceased during their military service. Not always a, a reason of conflict, but during their military service. And I uh, went on the internet to look up a little background information about the Gold Star Mother program. And I was gonna share that with you because there's some things in there that I didn't realize, and probably some of you um, don't know this information either. But during World War I, military families started a tradition of hanging a small banner in the windows of their homes. The banner had a white background with a red border and one blue star for each member in the military. If a member of the military died in service, the gold star replaced the blue one. The gold star has become a simple cherished symbol of the death of a loved one that a parent will hold tight to in memory of that child. In 1928, the American Gold Star Mothers were given a charter by Congress, and at the end of World War II, the Gold Star Wives of America were also given a congressional charter. The definition remained constant to this day. So the poem that I wrote this past weekend is titled, The Gold Star Mother. And I had the privilege again this morning to spend uh, the Memorial Day program with a Gold Star Mother as I've done in the past uh, eight or so years at Watkins, Minnesota. Um, her son, Pat, was killed in May of 1970, and Pat and I served together in, um, in the, the military at Fort, Wash or Fort Lewis, Washington, and we were in Vietnam at the same time, but not in the same unit. So I made it kind of a Memorial Day tradition to spend time with that family. And I've, I've grown very close to the, uh, to the mother, and of course the whole family, but I wrote this poem called The Gold Star Mother, and I'd like to share it with you today. A name was carefully chosen, even before his birth. Bringing him into the world is a mother's greatest worth. The newborn son would always feel his mother's love. She proudly proclaimed, he's a gift from up above. First words, first steps, first trike, first bike simple pleasures, memories of all his other firsts, now hit her, her, now her precious treasures. She watched the transformation from boy to great young man. Bumps and bruises along the way, she was always his biggest fan. His latest passion, serve his country, see the world. Back at home, old glory would proudly be unfurled. A mother's worst fear, that knock on the door, brought oceans of tears that fell to the floor. Her son had served proudly on a far distant land. A grateful nation shared her grief, the message now at hand. She looks at his picture, medals and colorful ribbons, remembering the price of the life he has given. Now a gold star mother, but certainly not her choice. America stands with you with a thankful, consoling voice. Remember, Gold Star Mother, you're never far apart. God has him in his keeping. You have him in your heart. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rod.